Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In previous video, we had discussed about the group by clause in Clickio. Now, let's take a step further and let's understand the having clause. Let me give you some background about the having clause. Using an expression based on the three valued logic, which is true, false, and unknown, we can filter out the group rows. And please remember, we're talking about the group rows, not the individual rows. In fact, having clause behaves in the similar way as the where clause, which filters out the individual rows. But in this case, we will be filtering out the group rows. So it is more or less same as the where clause. Now, the bad news is we don't have the having clause functionality built in ClickView. Yes, you heard me right. We don't have it in ClickView. However, the good news is we can use the preceding load on the group by clause to mimic the having clause functionality. So let's look at a simple example on how to use the having clause. So let me jump to ClickView. And let me go to the script editor. So I've already created an OLEDB connection. So let me click on select. So we will try and query a table from SQL Server. This might take a few seconds. Okay, now get, let's get the dim customers table. Let's bring everything. Now we wanted to look at the different categories of education qualification based on the yearly average income. So we need to get the education uh, should be here. Yeah. And uh, then yearly income. Let's get rid of everything else. Okay. And uh, Okay. Now let's use the group by clause here because we wanted to group by education. And now we need to perform aggregation. So which is the, which is on the field yearly income. So we are going to use the average function and I would name this field as the same. Okay, so, so we are extracting the data from table dim customers and then we are using the group by clause and grouping by education and calculating the average yearly income. So let's go ahead and reload this. Okay, it's done. Now let's click on OK and let's go ahead and click on, uh, let's go ahead and select the table box. And uh, let's select education, yearly income, click on OK. And let's sort by yearly income. So now we have different categories of education qualification and we're calculating the average yearly income for each education qualification. So in this scenario, you might want to filter out the education qualification where the average yearly income is less than or equal to 50,000. So in this case, you would get partial college, bachelor's, graduate degree because they are all greater than 50,000. So now let's see how we can use this by using the preceding load. Let's go to the script editor. Let me add one more preceding load here. Load star, I'm not adding any more fields or not manipulating any fields there. And then I would say where and yearly income equals to greater than 50,000. So the group rows are passed to this particular load statement and there we are using the where clause, which is equivalent to using the having clause. Had it been your traditional SQL, you would write the having clause here. You would say having something like this, uh, average yearly income is greater than 50,000. 
but as i've mentioned we don't have the having clause in click view so we will not take this approach and let's me, let me just get rid of this and so we have the group by clause and the having clause works in the preceding load by using the where clause so let's go ahead and reload this okay we're back uh, now if you see we got rid of those two rows so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward but definitely very very useful functionality so i hope this helps i would encourage you to participate in click view question of the day where i ask click view questions and you can answer them to assess your click view knowledge you would see instant results and you can also compare your results with other developers let me show you a quick example of how you can use click view question of day so let me click here and start click here going to my blog and click click on qqotd So in this case, it's 119th question and you have all the archived questions listed here. So you can answer the question and then you can see the results instantly and you can also compare where you stand compared to other developers. So thanks for your time. Take care. Cheers.